heard that right. Now, while his divine intervention seems to have come in at the fag end of Diwali festivities, as if to counter the criticism led by the BJP on Delhi government's cracker ban, there's more to it than meets the eye. The argument that his appeal has attracted are many, from being branded bizarre to most calling out Kejriwal for taking his soft Hindutva a tad bit too far. Although, what has set the cat amongst the pigeons clearly is Kejriwal claiming in the same breath, that the Aam Aadmi Party is fully prepared for the municipal cooperation of Delhi polls and stressing that the people of the national capital would reject the BJP. He also challenges the BJP to cite one good work that it might have done in Gujarat where it was running a government for the last 27 years. So is this another bit to take on the BJP in Gujarat, countering it with the exact same political posturing or just another attempt by the Aam Aadmi Party to keep the eyeballs on it? And a last-ditch attempt, a poll stunt for votes. Let's take a look. भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर एक तरफ गांधी जी की तस्वीर है वो वैसे ही रहनी चाहिए लेकिन दूसरी तरफ श्री गणेश जी की और श्री लक्ष्मी जी की तस्वीर भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर लगाई जा रही है जिस प्रकार से यू टर्न किया जाता है आज ही हमारे सामने पूर्णतः उतर के आ रहा है जनता उस वीडियो को देखे जिसमें केजरीवाल जी कह रहे थे कि मैं तो किसी भी कीमत पे उस राम मंदिर में आराधना करने पूजा करने नहीं जाऊंगा ये तो एक फेस सेविंग प्रोग्राम है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी क्योंकि इन लोगों ने इतना गाली दिलवा दिया है अपने मंत्रियों से अपने गुजरात प्रदेश अध्यक्ष से हिंदू देवी देवताओं को कि अब इनको समझ में नहीं आ रहा है कि हम कौन सा चेहरा लेके जनता के बीच में जाए मुझे हैरानी है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी भारत की करेंसी पर महालक्ष्मी जी और गणेश जी की तस्वीरें लगाने का विरोध कर रही है मुझे बहुत आश्चर्य है हम तो आस्तिक लोग हैं हम ये मानते हैं कि भगवान के आशीर्वाद के बिना बड़ा काम तो छोड़िए कोई छोटा काम भी सफल नहीं हो सकता So what exactly is Arvind Kejriwal's divine fix for the rupee? What all has he said today? Let's break it down for our viewers uh, on exactly what is it that he is suggesting. Now, what he said is that the country will prosper if currency has images of Lord Lak uh, Ganesha and Lakshmi. That's the argument number one that has been presented by Kejriwal. Then he goes on to say that our efforts won't fruitify if the gods are not blessing us. That's another argument. Uh, clearly playing uh, with this entire Hindutva plank, that uh, is the argument by many. He also says that uh, he needs Almighty's blessings to stabilize the economy and that's what is the need of the hour when it comes to the country. Also going on to say that a Muslim nation has the picture of Lord Ganesha on its currency, talking about Indonesia and that's the example that he has quoted and he has gone on to say that if Indonesia can do it being a Muslim country, why not India? Another argument, when Indonesia has the image of Ganesha on its notes, why can't we? Exactly the same thing that he went on to mention, clearly hard selling it, pushing that point a tad bit too far. So the argument against Kejriwal now is that of playing appeasement politics ahead of Gujarat polls. Now, how much of water does that hold? Let's take a look at that through certain past instances and also dissecting it on the timing. Now, ahead of 2014 Lok Sabha polls, Kejriwal takes a dip in the Ganges in Varanasi. This is the image of that, of course, clearly uh, riding on the Hindutva wave. Before 2020 Delhi polls, Kejriwal has recited the Hanuman Chalisa and also went on to visit the Hanuman Temple. That was pretty much on record there. Then before the 2022 UP polls, Kejriwal went on to flag off the pilgrim train to Ayodhya, also calling for what he termed as Ram Raj. That's what he did before UP polls. Then in the run-up to the Gujarat elections, Kejriwal 
went on to pray at Somnath Temple also vowed free pilgrimage to Ayodhya. That's something that he has also said on record. So all of this actually brings us to the big question that we ask today. Divine intervention, a pitch for economy, is it an advice or just appeasement? Let me take this question across to my guests who are joining me on the broadcast. Anuja Kapoor of the BJP joins me. Priyanka Kakkar of the Aam Aadmi Party is here with us on CNN News 18 today. Also, Mamta Kale and Sanjay Chadda, political analyst, are joining us on the broadcast. Mamta, uh, in fact, uh, Priyanka, let me begin with you. How are the gods going to be saving the economy? Griha, good evening to everyone. Good evening. Uh, it, you know, when we, we are all Indians and when we begin anything auspicious or we try, we seek blessings of our gods, we seek blessings of our elders, whether, you know, a child who's writing an exam, you will see him writes a Om or Jai Matati before the exam. Whether, um, whether it is, whether when we started the schools and hospitals, we did the Bhumi Pujan. So it is something auspicious. We're not saying this is the only measure, but there's some, everyone should be united on this. I just don't understand the opposition, especially from BJP on the issue. And, you know, even two days ago on Diwali, I think all of India would have read the Lakshmi Ganesh Ji Ki Aarti. And uh, there is a joke, koi tumko dhyata, riddhi siddhi dhan pata. So I don't see where this uh, ob ob objection from BJP is coming. And we've just said, we've made a proposition. Hmm. We are writing to the PM that this be included. Why, why today, Priyanka? Why today? There is no why okay, we'll do. I mean, that timing cannot be questioned. Why when should it not be questioned? Everybody is questioning the timing. Well, when is a good time? Now is a good time always. Okay. Okay. Let me take this across to Anuja. Anuja, how do you respond to the argument that has been made by the Aam Aadmi Party? A U turn, anti Hindu conversion believer, anti nationalist, ad man, self proclaimed, direct cash collection, corrupted, one and a half state government is giving an advice to our Honorable Prime Minister who has himself brought the economy <laughs> of India to the Priyanka fifth, left make fifth, point. fifth largest economy in the world after, you know, after he has taken up in his tenure. And 2014 before, you have seen that it was on the 11th number. The Delhi government, look at the economy of the Delhi government from which he belongs. He has brought Delhi Jal Board to 28,000 crore debt He's brought the loan of the Delhi to 38,753 crore. Who is he talking to? He has also been talking about, uh, to understand the people, who they are talking, the, the ones who are in Gujarat. I think the elections have not been finished. So now they are talking about before you do anything which is auspicious, you have to speak something related to goddess and goddesses. Ask Gopal Italia, ask Ajinder Pal, Gautam, what they have done. Now they're talking about, about the goddess and the goddesses. They insulted. They insulted the temples. They insulted goddess and goddesses. Anuja, they Anuja, you know, party. tell me something. There's I no need to be this agitated. We have no, just begun the debate. Anuja, let me, let me actually come in here. No need for the agitation. I just want to understand this one thing. If the BJP can go ahead and do it, why not the Aam Aadmi Party? If we can do it, what about Aam Aadmi Party? I don't understand. What is the question? I just what? want to understand anything which is pertaining to Hindutva, let's say, quote unquote. Why does the BJP get so rattled? I have just begun the debate. What is the need for I this agitation? Sorry, Grehaji, I am sorry to put it through. Everybody knows hmm. the, the mask face of Arvind Kejriwal, what he does and how he appeases the Muslims. You know that this is again an appeasement policy. Obviously, talking about Indonesia, Muslim country who is who is having a currency. But he's talking what about is he putting talking? gods and goddesses, is, Lakshmi no, and Ganesha is, is on Indian currency. It can't be Muslim Madam. appeasement. Okay, Priyanka wants to come in. Yes, the Priyanka. The goddess and the goddesses, okay. Priyanka, have no clue. Okay, let, let her respond then. There let her respond. Talking about this. Okay, Priyanka, yes. Talking about yes. is the goddess I'll, and the I'll, goddesses I'll, on I'll, the Priyanka. currency. Uh, Priyanka. You'll have to mute her. You'll have to mute her. Griha, I'm telling you the reason for her agitation is that actually... Anuja, one second. I'll give you the time, please. Let, actually, let Priyanka respond. BJP is an anti-Hindu party jinke mupe naam or ram or bagal mein chura hai because on 5th July this year, the central government wrote to us, Delhi government, that they want to break 53 temples in Delhi. This after they broke... 
Let me let me handle this. All right, Priyanka, tell me one thing. Arvind Kejriwal, an IAS officer, goes ahead, makes a statement like this. When I heard it, I first thought it was borderlining on sarcasm, but clearly it isn't. After the series of press conferences that have happened, justifying this very statement that has been made by the Aam Aadmi Party chief, how does the party choose to justify it at the moment? Because putting gods and goddesses on the Indian currency note cannot go ahead and save an economy. What is it that the Aam Aadmi Party is trying to do here and right ahead of the MCD polls and more importantly, the Gujarat polls? Kriha, we are making a request. They can do this, take the suggestion and do it after the polls once. Let, let not, let's not relate it with polls. Secondly, Kriha, whether it is... But the unfortunately, we have to, Priyanka, because the, 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 the suggestion has been made before the polls. Anuja, one second. Let her respond. Anuja, please. Who are you? Anuja. Let me, let me actually have Priyanka respond to my question. Let, uh, let Priyanka respond to my question. Then, then you can please come in, Anuja. Thank you so much. Yes, Priyanka. Thanks, Griha. Griha was saying that, you know, the uh, Lord Ganesha features on the currency of Indonesia, which has an 85% Muslim hmm. population. There is a, in God we trust on the currency of US. And please do not relate this with the scientific temperament. Science and faith can go hand in hand. Hmm. All of us at Ahmadmi Party are, you know, IRS officers hmm. or Ivy League graduates or hmm. Oxford graduates. But we all have a faith and we all believe in it. So there is no... It, it's just seeking blessings and what, why is she so agitated? Okay. I just Let's con not consider her. I I'm asking you a question. You can just respond to me. All right. Uh, you know, when we talk about the state of Gujarat, since I mentioned and I put that question to you, now the Hindu vote bank, and I'm reading out of a data, is 88.57% of the electorate. Do you think that appeasement charge that the BJP is leveling or the other opposition parties are leveling at the Aam Aadmi Party is not something that holds any water because clearly before the Gujarat elections, this is something that the Aam Aadmi Party has chosen to do after that massive dis defeat in 2017, where you lost yeah. in all the seats in Gujarat. Yeah, we can look this as in isolation, mm. but please look at the larger picture. Aam Aadmi Party is the only party in the country which uses the taxpayers' money and sends them even on Teer Thyatras. You know, in other parties, the CMs and the PMs, they go, go on Teer Thyatras on the taxpayers' money. Mm -hmm. We are the only party.